Hello everybody, ooh, sleeve. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about lip care. Why am I pointing? We all know where the lips are. We're talking about lip care today. Um, I feel like this is a part of the body that people not forget about. We forget that it's skin. We forget to care for our lips as much as we care for the rest of our face. And with winter coming up, a lot of you guys have been asking how we can sort out your chat lips, your sore lips. And a lot of you guys have been asking about lightening your lips as well. There are a few ways that your lips get chapped and there are a few causes for dark lips as well. So today I'm going to be talking about both of those and how we can sort that out and make our lips look nice and light and moisturized and fresh all the time. So let's talk about the chap lips first. So according to the NHS website, most moisture actually is escapes our lips from our body, which is weird. I wouldn't have thought that. So when they lose that moisture, the skin on our lips becomes tight, it becomes cracked, obviously very dry, which then starts to make them flaky, quite dark, and very, very sore in some cases as well. When it comes to dark lips, obviously genetics is in there, in the mix, but also things like sun exposure, smoking, if you're using cheap lip products as well, and of course bad diets all add up to making your lips very very dark, along with losing moisture from your lips too. So here is how I, I think very very simply um, sort out my lips in the morning and the evening. So in the daytime I like to lock in that moisture and going outside and battling with the elements out there at the moment is winter so it's cold, very very harsh cold wind. So a really easy way to combat the chap lips and the dark you know, the lips is to exfoliate your lips and moisturize. So this is what I like to do in the morning. I like to, after the shower, once my lips are nice and soft, I immediately go in with a lip scrub. Um, this is just a sugar scrub from Lush. This one in particular is castor sugar jojoba oil. Jehovah, I still don't know how to say that. Please tell me how to say that. So all you do is just scrub this very, very lightly on the lips. You don't want to start scrubbing really harsh because your lips are very, very sensitive, especially if you already have chat lips. If you don't have a lip scrub, you can make your own really, really easily. All you need is brown sugar, then coconut oil or honey. With honey, you just mix that in with the brown sugar, then rub it very gently on your lips. With coconut oil, I like to melt a little bit in between my fingertips, dip my fingers into that sugar, and then rub that on gently as well. Alternatively, you can use your toothbrush, just very very, very gently scrub on your lips. Then it's as simple as doing your normal routine, cleanse, tone, moisturize. I'll put that moisturizer over my lips, whatever moisturizer it is, and then finish it off with a lip balm. My personal favorite is Nivea Soothe and Protect with an SPF of 15. Um, it is quite a low SPF, but we will be using this all day. So we'll be topping this up maybe even every hour. So as long as you're constantly applying this, that is a fine SPF. As we are reapplying this, you need to avoid licking your lips. It's the worst, like hardest Thing to do, biting off any dead skin or licking your lips or washing your lips. Whenever you have the temptation to lick your lips, apply this on. What I like about this one is it goes on very, very smooth. It's not shiny and looks very, very natural. And in the evening, all I do is repeat that same step. But what I'll do instead of using the lip balm is use a very heavy moisturizer. So I'm actually using this skin food neck cream. I just find it's very deeply hydrating and has a lot of good plumping ingredients in it as well. But overall, it's just a very, very very good thick moisturizer. So I'll rub that in and then I'll just lock in that moisture with Vaseline. Yeah, one of my favorite products of all time. Just a thick, thick layer over your lips. You don't have to rub it in and this will help lock that moisture in all night. Now I'm just gonna to touch on how to lighten your lips. You should be using SPF lip balm if you are in hotter countries, especially um, Nivea, like I said, do a sunblock. That's especially made for your lips. That leaves like zero cast. It's very, very natural looking as well. If your lips aren't already damaged or aren't cracking, then you can actually use lemon. Just a little bit of lemon juice over the lips and then I would put Vaseline over as well just to further protect them. And this is just naturally gonna lighten your lips. Be very careful though, don't use too much lemon. It can be quite drying if you use way too much and only do this at night time as well. In very similar fashion, raw potato can lighten your lips. Potatoes contain something that I can't pronounce, so I'm just gonna write it here. Again, this naturally lightens the lips, so you wanna rub this on your lips before you go to bed. Don't wash it off, wash it off in the morning, and literally within a week, you'll find that this has lightened your lips. And for those of you who have asked me, this will also help lighten your elbows, underarms, things like that, just areas of your skin where it's a little bit darker. But that is it really, to round up very quickly, uh, exfoliate your lips, moisturize them, keep them moisturized throughout the day, don't lick them, don't pick them, um, just be very, very gentle with them. And remember how sensitive they are, and that they are also skin that you should be taking care of. Of. But I hope that helped you guys. Um, any questions, leave them down below as always. All product links will be in the description box below. Uh, bye. That's it. Bye. <laughs>